Hi, my name is Sean Kaback, a livestock and forage specialist with Manitoba Agriculture and Resource Development. The ammoniation of low quality forages is an option to improve feed quality or it can be used to preserve high moisture feeds. Ammoniation will increase digestibility 10 to 30 percent, protein can double, and intake can increase 10 to 20 percent. Ammonia is added at 3 to 5 percent to improve protein or at 2 percent when used as a preservative. In the fall, producers should take an inventory of feed supplies and livestock numbers. When feeding straw to cattle, supplementation with energy and protein is required. Straw quality varies between cereals, legumes, and oil seeds. When feeding low quality roughages, compaction can occur, especially in cold weather when consumption increases. In the fall of 2020, a forage ammoniation project was carried out. Five different feeds were ammoniated, including wheat straw, wheat chaff, canola chaff, wild hay, and mature alfalfa grass hay. Bales were stacked in a 1-2-3 pyramid style, which works the best. Ensure an adequate amount of soil is used around the outside of the stack to seal the plastic to the ground. Always use caution when injecting, disconnecting, and uncovering the stack and be sure to wear protective gear. Make sure all connections are secure. The pipe needs to be taped well to the plastic before starting to inject the anhydrous ammonia slowly into the forage stack. Once the valves are opened up, the anhydrous will be released into the stack, the stack will start to pressurize, and the plastic will billow out. Check for leaks around the stack don't be alarmed if you smell some ammonia, as this is normal. After the desired amount of anhydrous has been injected into the stack, close all valves and wait until the pressure in the stack drops before removing the injection pipe. You will notice the plastic start to sag. Removing the pipes requires two to three people. Prepare a patch ahead of time so you are ready to cover up the hole that's left behind in the plastic after the injection pipe is removed. Temperature determines the speed at which a reaction between ammonia and the feedstuff occurs and affects the improvement in digestibility. When removing plastic, be careful to allow excess ammonia to escape. In this project, the stack was covered for seven weeks from October 1st to November 21st. Feed tests were taken before and after. The protein increased on average 65% or 4.9 points. The cost for the ammonia in the plastic was 1.59 cents per pound of dry matter at 3.1% ammonia. After plastic removal, allow several days before feeding the forages. When forages are ammoniated properly, they are palatable and can be a cost-effective strategy of extending your feed supplies. Thank you to our cooperator, Bruce Sneesby, for participating in the project. For more information, contact your nearest Manitoba Agriculture and Resource Development Office.